Hi folks, John Mark here with Catalyst Connect. This is going to be a quick run through of how to connect your Zoho apps to the WordPress plugin uh, client portal for Zoho. So once you are logged into WordPress and you go to the plugin tab here, you will <coughs> pop in your license key to activate the plugin. Next thing you'll do is come here to the Zoho API settings and you'll click on the app that you want to connect to the plugin. In this case, I'm going to reconnect books. And uh, we can see here that we are given instructions on how to proceed. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and open up the developer console. I can copy this client name once I create an ID. I'm just going to create a unique one here for demo purposes. You'll then put in your uh, domain uh, that you are installing this on. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this for both the domain and the redirect URL. Uh, it's going to be web-based. You'll go ahead and click Create. Copy the client ID and secret over. Now you need to generate a code. The code is essentially the permissions that this plugin is given to access and perform certain actions in that app in Zoho. So each of these apps has what's called a unique scope that gives the permissions to this app to do certain things in that uh, Zoho product. So we're going to go ahead and copy this scope, go back here to our self-client, close this, go to these three little dots, click on self-client, pop in the scope, change it to 10 minutes, and view the code. We're then going to drop this code in over here. The next thing we need to do is get the uh, organization ID for Zoho Books. So here we're going to follow this link to zohobooks.com, and we can see that this screenshot, you're going to hover over here, make sure it's the correct organization, and then you'll find the ID over here. So in this case, we can grab that ID, come back here and pop it in. And we're all set to go. So we'll go ahead and update this, and now it's connected. So that's a similar procedure that you'll follow for each of these other apps. Um, there may be slightly different instructions uh, to find the organization ID, but the process of creating your client ID secret and scope code are all the same. Thanks a lot, and we'll see you on the next video.